Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Ziggy's Rant. And today I want to talk about the first year, 12 months of Humza's reign in Parliament as the First Minister. The continuity candidate, Sturgeon and Peter Murrell's pick. Whatever happened to uh, Murrell, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we've seen him in the last 12 months. But anyway, they picked him. The SNP didn't pick him. He got less than half the votes. So they didn't really want him. And we certainly didn't want him. I knew it was going to be a disaster. I knew Humza as First Minister was going to be absolutely... <sighs> You know, a disaster for Scotland. It failed at every position he'd been in and failed spectacularly at every position. So why was he going to suddenly become a, a good first minister? He wasn't. And But even, even I, I did not see how bad he was going to be and what he has been. We've had the GRR bill, complete disaster. We had the bottle scheme that uh, that they tried to get through, an absolute cost us millions of pounds, and we still don't know the true figure of how much that scheme is going to cost the taxpayer, which was completely unworkable. Uh, we've seen the £250,000 going to... Um, a a group a charity that is dubious charity that uh, has ties to Hamas and ties to what happened on October the seventh. We've had that money, and that we've still not got to the bottom of that yet. Uh, we've seen um, and and his his family. A couple of days after. They received that money. His family got out of uh, out of um, Gaza, which uh, still needs explaining. We've seen <sighs> divisive politics at its worst. We've seen race baiting at its worst from the first minister. We've seen we've seen no policies in the last twelve months that that have. That have come through. We, we haven't seen one policy that's come through, and especially none that's that's helped uh, the Scottish people. We've just seen divisive politics, uh, complete and utter disrespect for the UK, for uh, for the Scottish people. It's been a disaster, and uh, the I can't wait for the general election. Because I, I, I believe they're going to lose 30 to 35 seats. I've said that all along. And I do think someone will challenge Humza in the SNP. Now, if you look at the candidates that uh, could challenge him, are they any better? Probably slightly better. Will they, will they um, turn this disaster around? No, they won't. It's too late now. We need a Holyrood election, and we need to uh, we need to get the the SNP out of power, and and let's uh, try and mend what is um, a uh, a broken country at the moment. So twelve months, twelve months of of uh, of Humza, potentially another two two and a half years of Humza. Can you imagine the damage that's going to be done? In them two and a half years, <sighs> honestly, I I just I despair. I really do despair on uh, what's coming because um, it's been an absolute. It's been a waste of time and an absolute waste of. Uh, he's a he's a poor and he's a such a shockingly poor politician. He has to go, and um, the sooner, the better. 
the only good thing that that's come of this is destroyed independence him and sturgeon have destroyed any chance of independence that that dream has has, has gone because of um of them two mainly uh, that's one good good uh, aspect of this but uh, for for the sake of um th for the sake of scotland for the sake of the country he needs to uh he needs to go he really does but um that's my my rant for today uh please uh, leave your comments what do you think of humza what do you think of the state of scotland at the moment and uh what's your uh, take on the future and how long this is going to last and how long humza will last leave your comments uh and please subscribe uh the more the more subs uh, people that subscribe the um the far reacher I, I can get with my um my channel so um but until then till next time have a have a nice easter and uh i'll uh see you next time take care